हेलो 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 डियर चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर आर डम मित्रा मेंबर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर्स और डिस्टिंग्विस्ट गेस्ट फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री एकेडमी एंड मीडिया एस्टिंग फैकल्टी ग्रेजुएंट्स एंड देयर फैमिली मेंबर्स और स्टाफ मेंबर्स अलोमी स्टूडेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एक्सटेंड ए हार्टी वेलकम टू यू to the 31st graduation day of bim trichi they are putting go at the end and just see if you can hear me the end yeah so that also will just see huh? go at the end and just give me indication 2022 23 has been a fascinating year for bim for bim I just wanted to share some of our achievements in the last uh, one year. As you may know, the government of Tamil Nadu appointed Bim. Okay, just one minute. I'll go there. successfully conducted the highly rigorous nationwide entrance examination spread over 92 centers okay
Check, check, check.
Hello, hello. Can you hear me at the end? Okay. Turn to a friendship, a friendship turns to a bond, and that bond will never be broken. 
and the love will never get lost. And when brothers will come first, and the land will never be caught. Established it on our own when that land had to be drawn, and that land is what we reach. So remember me when I'm gone. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you won't be with me for the last word.
the line will never be crossed. Established it on her own when that line had to be drawn, and that line is so you do so remember me when I'm gone. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side, and now you're gonna be with me for the last one.
both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and we're small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost I'm 
Find your way in the vibe It's still as strong though it's small Turn to a friendship A friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken The love will never get lost
A very good afternoon to everyone. I welcome you all to the 31st graduation day. I kindly request all the guests, the graduates, to be seated in your allotted space. Just a few couple of um, announcements before we start the formal event. I kindly request everybody to turn your mobiles to silent mode. And throughout the proceedings, I request all of you to kindly maintain silence. And as the, uh, the chief guest and other dignitaries walk into the hall along with the procession music, I request you all to rise and stand, uh, remain standing until the dignitaries get, uh, see, uh, are seated on the dais. And after the event gets over, again the procession music will be played. You will again rise and remain standing until the guests leave the hall. Until the chief guest leaves the hall. And after that, tea will be served for the parents outside this hall. And for the graduates, since we have arranged a photograph session for them, it will be a, a, uh, the tea will be served at Nivendam Hall in the ground floor. Thank you. Um, ha enjoy the day, but not during the session, maybe after the session. Okay?
தமிழ்தாய் வாழ்த்து This graduation ceremony of Bharatidas Institute of Management has been called to distribute the degrees upon the candidates who in the examinations held for the purpose have been certified to be worthy of the same. to deliver the welcome address and annual reports. Good afternoon, everyone. Dear Chief Guest, Dr. Arna Mitra, members of the Board of Governors, our distinguished guests from industry, academia, and media, esteemed faculty, graduates, and their family members, our staff members, alumni, students, ladies, and gentlemen. I extend a hearty welcome to you to the 31st graduation day of BIM Tichi. 2223 has been a fascinating year for BIM. I just wanted to share some of our achievements in the last one year. As you may know, the government of Tamil Nadu appointed BIM as the academic partner to conduct the prestigious two-year Tamil Nadu CM's fellowship program. I am delighted to inform you that we successfully conducted the highly rigorous nationwide entrance examination spread over 92 centers nationally and published the results on time without any technical glitches while maintaining complete integrity. The one-month 
induction program at Anna Administrative Staff College, Chennai, saw faculty members from BIM, IIT Madras, Tata Institute of Social Science, and other prestigious schools, senior industry practitioners, members of Tamil Nadu State Planning Commission, senior bureaucrats from the government taking sessions at the induction program. Our board members, Dr. N. Kamakudin, and Mr. N. Malavaskar, also took sessions for the participants in the fellowship program. This significantly enhanced our equity with the government. We could also thereby expand our footprint in sustainable development space. Looking at the enormous opportunities for our graduates and faculty to work on consultancy in the sustainability space, we have introduced a center for sustainable development. We have built competencies in functional areas like CSR impact analysis, implementing SDG at the grassroots, preparing district dashboards, economic viability analysis in urban development, reviewing city financial plans, and identifying economic growth areas. BIM is now credited with significant earnings through consultancy. We are committed to contributing to the development of the local ecosystem. We have signed an MOU with Tamil Nadu Irrigation Management and Training Institute of the Ministry of Public Works Department of the Government of Tamil Nadu to bring management insights into water management practices. A few of our students have worked with International Center for Clean Water at IIT Madras Research Park to construct a model in the water management area. BIM also signed MOU with the Institute of Design Thinking Chennai to promote design thinking at the grassroots level to develop better products and improve service delivery, thereby contributing to local ecosystems overall competitiveness. We are working with a few regional dairy and hatchery farms conducting MDPs for DHL and LNT, performing CSR impact analysis for City Union Bank, and supporting several B schools in the region through guest lectures and thought leadership input. You will be happy to note that we are the only institute in Tamil Nadu to set up a financial trading and analytics center with Bloomberg and NAC Smart Trading Simulation Software. Apart from cross-discipline research and project works, this center also helps students prepare for CMT and BMC certification. We have set up a real-time contextual marketing lab packed with open source software tools, including Salesforce Social Studio that only a few B schools in India can claim to have. Our Center for Operations Excellence is equipped with O9 solutions and in change software applications for simulation in supply chain 4.0. Our idea is to open this facility to students from other B schools in the region. We have signed an MOU with Chartered Market Technician Association to facilitate the CMT certification course. This course will help students be equipped with technical aspects of the financial market and investment a part of new age market analysis. We are now trying to work on drone integrated supply chain and metaverse labs. I'm happy to inform you that we have consistently achieved 100% admission and placement. This year, for the 2021-23 batch, the average CTC of the BIM 38 batch stands at INR 12.12 lakhs with the highest salary being INR 20.5 lakhs. We are perhaps one of the very, very few B schools in the country to get our placement data audited by CRISEL as per the Indian Placement Reporting Standard 2, introduced by IIM Ahmedabad and SPJMR. BIM was also adjusted the best B school for industry academia relations at the World Education Summit 2022 in Hyderabad. We became one 
of the NIRA ranked top 100 B schools in 2022 and aim to be in the top 50 by 2025. We concluded 2022 by receiving ISO 21001-2018 certification. And we are the first B school in Tamil Nadu to receive this coveted international certification for our academic and administrative processes. We are in an advanced stage of NBA accreditation. We have also started working towards ACSB and AMBA accreditation. Our BIM 37 students got third position in the Global Capsule Strategic Management Simulation Contest in 2021 with the IIM Bangalore team coming fourth in the rank. Our BIM 38 students got the second rank globally in the Capsim Foundation Challenge in 2022. A team from BIM 38 batch got the seventh position in the number one global supply chain competition organized by InChange, BIM, yeah, organized by InChange. So BIM students have consistently won various competitions conducted by the corporates and B schools in the country. Our alum, Mr. Kabir Ahmed Shakir, the CFO of Tata Communications and BIM 8 batch, 1991-93 batch, he received the coveted IMC Distinguished Alumnus Award 2022 from the Honorable Former President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovin, during the Indian Management Conclave at I am Cody Cody. BIM introduced its Distinguished Alumnus Award in 2022, and the first recipient of this award is Mr. T. Ramachandran, Senior Vice President, Visa Singapore. This award was handed over by the Commissioner of Land Administration and Land Reform of Tamil Nadu Government, Mr. S. Nagarajan, IS. We also conferred the first Gokulnath Gold Medal to Mr. D. Saravanan of the BIM 37 batch instituted by the alums of BIM 17 during the 39th BIM Foundation Day 2022 in Chennai. From this year on, we instituted BIM Teacher's Day Award to the faculty for the best IT and research contribution. Our professor, Dr. Jairam S. Assistant Professor in the Bodhi and Teacher area is the first recipient of this award for his paper in the International Journal of Contemporary Hospitality Management, which is classified as an MEDC A category journal. And this is the first time in the history that the A category paper has been published. This year, we made significant progress in research contribution. We have introduced a comprehensive research policy to foster a vibrant academic research culture. This year, our faculty published two ABDC A category papers, one ABDC B category papers, and three Scopus Index papers. Besides, we published six cases and presented four conference papers and one international conference paper. We have also initiated two IP projects and several other research initiatives that are in the pipeline. Our assistant professor in finance and accounts, Dr. Sadhita Dev, won the iconic Women Creating a Better World for All Award at the Women Economic Forum 2022, held in Delhi in December 2022. I'm happy to inform you that another faculty, Professor P. Mohalingam, assistant professor, has been appointed as a finance and economic advisor to Chennai Metropolitan Development Authority. Now, he will be guiding the CMDA in terms of where to expand and what kind of industry should come at which place and a whole lot of things. We also conducted the first high-powered academic council meeting joined by distinguished leaders from industry and academia across the globe. We have renewed our MOU with Anna Administrative Staff College Chennai to host executive and faculty development programs. This year, we partnered with SAP to introduce postgraduate certificate in ERP SAP. BIM participated in Har Ghar Piranga campaign in 2022 to commemorate Ajadika Amrit Mahotsav. 
We also organized a blood donation camp and more than 70 students, faculty and staff came forward to donate blood. Our Welfare and Sustainability Club introduced a BIM Innovation in Sustainability Award this year. Our board members, Mr. N. Balavashkar and Mr. Anshul Misra, IAS, Secretary of Chennai Metropolitan Development Authority, presented the first award to Bharat Sokagakai at an event in Chennai. Our pie-shaped program architecture receives wide applause from the academic community for its overall program execution outcome. Apart from scholastic rigor, many emphasis are given to applications of new age technology, applications of SDG, fitness, and practice of human values. We are also at an advanced level of signing MOU with four top tier international B schools for programs like faculty and student exchange, QLP, research collaboration, and so on. You will be happy to know. We have started our work on building a new second campus of BIM on the Trichy Purukottai Highway and hope to complete the same by next year 2024. With the initiatives underway, active engagements of all stakeholders like faculty, staff, alumni and students, and continuous guidance and support from the board, BIM will live up to its axiom influencing tomorrow, and you all will be incredibly proud of your alma mater. To conclude, I would like to share a quote from Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning, a book chronicling his death at the Nazi concentration camp during World War II. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you miss it. Success, like happiness, cannot be pursued, it must ensue. It only does so as the unintended side effect of one's dedication to a cause greater than oneself or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Happiness must happen and the same holds for success. You must let it happen by not caring about it. Please listen to what your conscience commands you to do and go on to carry it out to the best of your knowledge. Then you will live to see that in the long run, success will follow you, success will follow you precisely because you had forgotten to think about it. Thank you, friends. All the best for all your endeavors. I once again welcome you all. Let us celebrate this moment. Thank you. I invite Dr. N. Kamakodi, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of City Union Bank and Member Board of Governors of BIM to felicitate the graduates. Respected Chief Guest, Dr. Arnab Mitra, Shri N. Balabaskar, Member of the Board of Governors, BIM, Director, Dr. Asit K. Burma, Controller of Examinations, PGB Chairman, Faculty Members, Staff, Students, Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to be amidst you for this 31st graduation day of uh, Bharatidasan Institute of Management. Today marks an important day in your life, yet it's the beginning of a journey. To get to this point was an important achievement in itself, to which I commend you. The personal competences, competencies that got you here, passion, commitment, persistence, openness to learn will be important throughout your lives. Nurture Jan. There are even more inevitable than what you have learnt in your graduate 
studies. Hence, my message to you all, a message of truth and encouragement. The world you inherit, inherit is racked with great challenges. Change is upon us, if we like it or not, yet you have the greatest opportunities in the generations to be the architects and builders of a new modern world. You belong to a small exclusive group who have been equipped to take such a daunting role. You may exercise it wherever you stand, but it goes beyond having a job in a company or any other organization. It means you are engaging in society. You will not just be a cog in a big wheel, but you will be a node in the vibrant network of engaged community. You will have purpose like no generations before you. Organizations presently are struggling in defining the broader purpose for themselves and their constituents, but they have started to understand that they are not acting in silos, but as a part of society. Yet, it, it all comes at a price. We will have to rigorously apply the thinking and reasoning skills, in particular critical thinking and your emotional competencies. You cannot be content to be an expert in a domain. You must constantly work on decoding what happens in the society and what, is, what it, its implications are. And you must act on it in concert with others, wherever you stand, just wanting to do good is not enough. Achieving impact, uh, impact is what really matters. Many philanthropic and welfare organizations pride themselves that they have the key to save everybody else. But by digging deeper, you will be able to differentiate those who are selling their single product and those who take responsible action in shaping society by providing the true value. I wish you the best for your lives. Comprehend the challenges and get ahead of the change. Find your purpose and take your share in shaping the new world you are becoming part of. The new world does not appear by natural law, but it is created out of connected thoughts and actions of myriads of individuals who are beset by the passion of making the world a better place for all. Become create creators of the future. I would like to end my speech with a Thirukural on leadership. Anjamai, Igai, Arivukam, in Nangum, Yenjamai, Vendar Kielbi. A leader has to be courageous during the tough time and make solid decisions. A leader has to be generous towards his people and has to care and express concern for the people. A leader has to frequently exhibit his knowledge and wisdom and guide wherever the situation demands. During critical times, a leader has to motivate himself and team members for, the, for facing the challenges. My best wishes are with you all for your future endeavors. And I hope you will all be rising up to the occasion and be the torch bearers of the reputation what BIM has created over a period of more than 30 years. Thank you all. Wish you all the best. Thank you. I invite Priyan Balabaskar, retired IAS officer and a member board of governors of BIM to felicitate the graduates. Dr. Arnav Midra, distinguished chief guest of the day, Dr. Kamakoti, Dr. Asit Burma, Dr. V.P. Sri Raman, Dr. Jay Krishna, graduating students of BIM 35, and their proud parents and families, colleagues in the faculty and staff of BIM, and other distinguished guests. I have attended three convocations in my life, so I am acutely conscious of the fact that you are least interested in somebody coming and telling you anything in this occasion. I will be mercifully short, but I think it's my duty to invoke the memories of three people who made BIM what it is today. Professor Manisundaram, the founder, vice chancellor, first vice chancellor of Bharadasan uh, University, who had the courage and the vision 
to envisage an autonomous institution of excellence like BIM and Bharat Ratna, Dr. C. Subramaniam, who was the first chairman of the Board of Governors, who protected this institution in its early life, and Professor P. L. Arya, who built this institution into what it is today. You see, BIM has a very unique atmosphere. I've been here for two years as director. So you have something which is, I mean, which you cannot put your finger on, you can't define what it is. There is a certain atmosphere which you gather. So I always advise students, so you go out of BIM, but don't let BIM go out of you. You know, you keep that spirit with you. And on those occasions, some advice has to be given. So I remember recently I talked to young Tibetans. You know, the Tibetans are uh, very unfortunate lot. They have lost their country, they have lost many things, they have faced very uh, uncertain kind of future. So, I mean, they have a Tibetan vision program. They come to Auroville, where we have a Tibetan pavilion where I live. And uh, I was asked to speak to them. So they were asking me, what do you do in uncertain times? These are uncertain times, many things are happening, virus coming and so many things are happening and all. So it struck me that uncertainty, you cannot do anything about it. There is no solution. The only thing is, the opposite of uncertainty is not certainty. If you look for certainty, you will not succeed. The opposite of uncertainty is to accept uncertain times and be open to whatever happens. Meet the challenge, try to live up to it, somehow survive. That's the only advice one can give. So I suppose in my time we had more certainty or whatever it is, less uncertainty, but you are facing a time which we don't know what will happen. There is a war which is going on in Ukraine, it might become something, it is always uncertain. So, but you need to be open, curious and learn new things, adapt yourself to change, that is the way to survive. With that, I will uh, take leave. Thank you very much and congratulations. Dr. Arnab Mitra, chief guest for today's uh, graduation ceremony. He is a PhD from IIT Delhi. Dr. Arnab is a goal oriented professional with leadership capabilities combined with excellent planning, coordination, and problem solving capabilities. Accustomed to working in fast paced international markets like Asia Pacific and Americas, with the ability to think quickly and execute successfully. A leader with a demonstrated capacity to deliver concrete results on time and within budget. His specialities include creating business opportunities and delivering value to the customer. I now invite the chief guest, Dr. Arnab Patra, to deliver the graduation day address. Chairman and the members of the Board of Governors, Director of the Institute, distinguished faculty, graduating students, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to be a part of this wonderful ceremony. I'm honored uh, to be here and I, as I rise to speak to you, my mind goes back decades ago when I was in your place in a different institute trying to absorb all the environmental stimuli around me. I did my MBA from Department of Business Management, University of Calcutta, way back in the year 1993. Since then, I remained a student of business studies, not only for the love of the subject, but also to be relevant, uh, to remain relevant. Let me confess, after spending 28 years in, in corporates and and being relevant for 28 years in corporates, that being a student of uh, MBA is a great privilege. A privilege to look at world with open mind and open heart, and to develop a worldview 
to develop some sort of uh, 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 perspectives not bounded by uh, cognitive bias. Convocation is a way of celebrating your success with a hope that you would create a positive impact in fields that you choose to work in the near future. I have no doubt that you will positively impact thousands of lives over the course of your careers. I take this opportunity to congratulate each one of you on your completion of your degrees. The journey that you had embarked a few years ago has come to an end with a promise to a new beginning. Needless to say that the journey was not easy. The challenges in the path did test your resolve. But if the mountain were not stiff, the view would not be such an inspiration, isn't it? It's true that your academic efforts have come to fruition. This is a mark of completion of one chapter in your life and another is about to begin. Many of you will choose to enter the real world of business with real ups and downs, and some of will will choose to embark on another journey in academics for the attainment of the next level. The process of transition will need a lot of resilience and I'm sure that the values and the skills that you have acquired over the institute from the institute will help you face atrocities in life with confidence. While attending my first class in management, I came across a pertinent question from one of my professors, what is management? I tried to answer the question from the bookish knowledge that I had and a lot of other friends of mine did the same. The professor Rahman, he was, uh, he looked at us, he, he appreciated all the answers and came up with a perspective of looking at it. Jokingly, he said, management is man management tactfully to achieve a desired outcome. Believe me, I couldn't find any practical response to that connotation till then. Management is often said as the newest of the sciences and the oldest of the arts. The significance of management revolves around human endeavor to achieve results. There is no denial of the fact that we live in a world which is complex and full of paradoxes. So when you get into the new real life, when the real business world, you'll face with a lot of dichotomies. So from that perspective, I'd like to talk about uh, some, some uh, uh, excerpts from German philosopher George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel's thoughts. These are often described by using the connotation thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. According to Hegel, to know the world, the whole truth, human mind need to draw a distinction which is derived from the paradoxical nature of human consciousness. The derived distinction is enriched with two opposite terms which can be expressed through arguments and counter-arguments. Human consciousness can only focus on one of the elements of two extreme opposites. It creates a rational for one element and then keeps on creating rationals for others till it finally reaches to the rest of the mere distinction. Hegel explains this is as the process of alternation and the rest as dialectics. The notion conflicting stern opposites are the reasons for the historical movement or progress is a deviation of the dialectical method. A further decomposition of Hegel's thoughts would lead to the categories of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis, which he talked about. The struggle between the potential and actual world has been derived from the concept of conflict of opposites, which is the essence of Hegel's philosophy. The real world, in many times full of dichotomy, a simple single idea derived from the thesis represents a void in the system which can be fulfilled by another conflicting idea. The conflict gives rise to another point of view which can be connoted by synthesis and which depicts the truth amongst the opposites, the truth amongst the thesis and the antithesis. The synthesis becomes the new thesis and which calls for another antithesis and their dynamic interplay goes on till the universal truth is achieved. In today's competitive market, companies are under pressure as customers are more knowledgeable due to the information explosion. Mass customization is the key as the world would cater to the specific needs. This is expected to be achieved through innovation. Gone are those days where the value of product or services were mainly judged by its price. Customers want cost arbitrage with immaculate service which meets their requirements. As always, reducing costs and improving quality requires ongoing initiatives within every enterprise, delivering higher value, whether within the value chain 
to partners and original equipment manufacturers or to the end users have become more and more important. Today's business house operates in an environment which is deeply influenced by change. It is important to be flexible so that agility can be demonstrated in the response to external market stimuli. The change can be a planned change to address the predictable business environment through business process reengineering. The changes can also be unplanned as a result of unpredictable external stimuli of business environment. To manage unplanned change, organizations need to develop agility into its DNA, and that can only be possible by imbibing flexibility in its strategy, process, and enablement initiatives. The organizations depend on their technology to react to market conditions by developing differentiators. It is observed that small side organizations act more swiftly to address the unpredictable change in the market. The bigger organizations take more time to respond. Big organizations have decomposed their structure in smaller entities to take the benefit of imbibing flexibility in their way of operations without diluting their advantage regarding their size and reach. These structural change are attributable to the demands of the new age customers who have freedom of choice to exercise their options. As a result of proliferations of technological, technology dictates the course of business and in a way may determine customer behavior, decentralization can be treated as the key to be exercised. Large global organizations are reaching out to the new markets with local phase. Short shelf life of the product has been the key driver of technological innovation. Delighting customers with a quality service product with faster response time is emerging as a key to succeed. To fall out of innovation is called cost arbitrage. It is quite imperative that innovation as technology calls for advanced technology as a cheaper rate. Manufacturers and service providers across the globe can use this technology to imbibe flexibility for increasing their agility in the marketplace. This allows them to restructure their plans, decentralize it to operate more effectively with flexible production mechanism. The organization needs to identify and accept elements of change in the business environment. It is also important to identify and acknowledge the core continuity factors of the organizations. Now, uh, finally, I would like to wrap up by connoting the flexible firms uh, propagates positively by which collaboration could be fostered to bring in more effectively within the business ecosystems. Today's market is the market of listeners, the organization which listens to the customers more empowered and the knowledge of customer behavior. And they are better equipped in terms of dealing with the dynamic change and elements in the market. Uh, I would like to reiterate one few lines of uh, Professor Shushil, who talked about uh, as some narratives on system sage. The system age is a synthesis of the machine age and its antithesis. The antithesis gives focus on synthesis rather than analysis and is governed by the doctrine of expansionism. It is looking at reality to be much more integrated and unified as the organic systems one disassembled, dis disassembled could not be fully reassembled. Thus, it looks at the system under consideration to be a part of the larger whole called the suprasystem. Now, students, the Institute has given you knowledge, which is the facts, information, and skills acquired through education. It has enhanced your ability to process the theoretical and practical understanding of subject, your ability to deal with the ever-changing world with large, largely depends on your willingness to apply your knowledge to deal with the situation in the real world, which is, believe me, quite hard at times. You all have enormous potentials. My humble submission to all of you, please realize your potential. We always crave about not being lucky enough like others. Luck is opportunity coupled with preparedness. Prepare yourself to realize your dreams. Identify the areas of your passion and go for it. Do not hesitate to face the challenge. It is our response to the most difficult tasks that define us. It is the readiness to tackle them that makes us a leader. I'd like to end with a quote of American philosopher Ralph Waldo Emerson. The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. 
Friends, I wish you all the best in your lives and careers. May you live so that your lives matter. And may you make the world a better place for having passed through it. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Let the candidates be now presented by the PGP chairperson, Dr. S. Jayakrishna. I request the chief guest, Dr. Arnab Mitra, to hand over the certificates to the graduates along with other dignitaries on the dais. I present unto you the candidates in person who have been certified by after examination to be duly qualified to receive the degrees of Bharatidasan University. Arvinda Sami, MS. Arvindam V. Archana Ravindran. Arvinda Rajan. P.J. Charles Anthony J. Chirantan Yam Yam. Dilip R. Gattupalli Venkata Bhargav. Geeta K. Guru Sukant Krishna, yes. Harisagar PT. Hemant Kumar K. Jeevagan B.S. Kavin Kumar C.M. Manoj Prabhaka B. Nanda Harish Yan Navin Ragul B Navin Kumar M
टी मेघा एम सुंदरम अलयास सुंदर यस प्रगदीश यस प्रसन्न वेंकटेश्वर पी प्रेमनाथ ए पूर्विका एम रेचल माता माथ्यूस सचिन विघ्नेश जी संगवी ए शंकर सुब्रमण्यम डी सिंधुल कुमार यस श्री रंजनी डी सिद्धार्थ के जे सिद्धार्थ कृष्णा ए बी सुधाकर जी सूर्य प्रसाद ए के तेजस्विनी जीवी ताजुद्दीन शाहीन वसंत विश्वनाथ यस विष्णु प्रसाद के मुखिलन डी विघ्नेश पी राम प्रसाद पी चंद्रशेखर यस सरस्वती ए अभिषेक बी कृष्णा
അക്ഷയസുത ആർ കെ അമിർത എസ് അരവിന്ദ് മനുവേൽ ആർ ആഷിഖ് അഹമ്മദ് എസ് ഭഗവത്കാർ പ്രാച്ചി പ്രദീപ് ബോബി വിൽസൺ തോമസ് എ ധർമ്മാനന്ദ് കെ ദിവാഹർ ബി ഇസാം പ്രഷദ് ടി കെ ജയശ്രീ എം ജയന്ത് ജെ കണ്ണദാസൻ എം കാർത്തിക് എസ് കവിൻ മല എ കൊമല സി ലളിത് അശ്വിൻ എസ് ലോകേഷ് എൻ മണികണ്ഠൻ എസ് മയൂരി എ നകുൽ ഡി നവീൻ വി പ്രണവ കാർത്തികേയൻ എം എസ് സായ് സ്വാതിക എസ് സന്ദീപ് ബി സംഗമിതി ആർ
സരവണ പ്രസാദ് ആർ ശിവ സി ശ്രേയസ് സായിറാം എസ് ശ്രീ വിദ്യാലക്ഷ്മി എസ് ശ്രീറാം എം ശുഭശ്രീ പി ആർ സ്വാതി ജോഷി അംഗദുറായി എസ് ദിനേഷ് ടി ഉപമന്യു ഗുഹ വരവരാജൻ പി വിഘ്നേഷ് എസ് വിനോദ് വി വിശാൽ ആർ ഗണേഷ് ബാബു എ ആർ പ്രീതി എം ബ്രഹദീഷ് സി എം ടി അരവിന്ദ് എം ക്രിസ്റ്റഫർ ഫ്രാങ്ക്ലിൻ ജെ ശ്രീറാം എസ് സുജിത് സച്ചിൻ പാൽ എസ് ഐ പ്രസെന്റ് ആൺ ടു യു ദ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ അബ്സൻഷ്യ ഹു ഹാവ് ബീൻ സർട്ടിഫൈഡ് ബൈ ആഫ്റ്റർ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ടു ബി ഡ്യൂലി ക്വാളിഫൈഡ് ടു റിസീവ് ദ ഡിഗ്രീസ് ഓഫ് ഭാരതിദാസൻ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി അഖിൽ എസ് ആന്റണി നർവിൻ വി ചേതൻ ഷെക്കാവത് ബളിരാജു പ്രദീപ് രാജു ജയകാന്ത് എ കൈസർ കീർത്തന കീർത്തനങ്ങ കാവ്യ കെ നവീന ബി എസ് ഓം പ്രഭു കെ പരിട്ടാല ശിവാജി പവിത്ര എ പി രേണുക എം 
सनी रजक तीर्थ हरिहर हरिहरन डी के वी हेमंत सरन अभिषेक नेगी अलगम पी एल अतुल मालविया राहुल साई अपिकटला साई कट कुंडू शिवा के श्रीहरि वी तेजस जी वानति के वरुण पी मुक्त सरकार विनोद कुमार जी एम योगेश कुमार एस एम Dr. S. Jay Krishna, the PGP chairperson, will now announce the rank holders of the graduating batch. I request our honourable member, Board of Governors of BIM, to hand over the medals, cash prizes, and certificates to the rank holders along with other dignitaries on the dais. Yeah, the topper of the batch and the first rank. Holder, Kevin Muller, A, receives the gold medal for academic excellence, sponsored by BIM Prachi, of cash price fifty thousand. So, Kevin Muller also receives Ranganayaki Natasha Iyer gold medal for the topper of MBA program of the batch, sponsored by Dr. Yen Jayashankaran, ex director, then and co-sponsored by B. I. M. Trichy. Thank you. The second rank holder of the batch uh, goes to Preeti M. A cash prize of rupees forty thousand, sponsored by B I M. Okay. Yes, Third rank holder of the batch, Navin Kumar Yam, receives a cash prize of rupees thirty thousand, sponsored by B I M Trichy. Fourth rank holder of the batch uh, goes to Miss Tejeshwini G V. She receives a cash prize of rupees twenty thousand, sponsored by Mian Trichy. Fifth rank holder, Mr. Charles Anthony J, will receive rupees ten thousand cash prize, 
कौन सर बायोबेंट्रिक छी I invite the director of BIM, Dr. Asit K. Parma, to administering management board. Graduates, please rise. Okay, so this is uh, management oath. I hope you all have that. And uh, I'll be reading out and give a pause, small pause, and you'll be repeating. Okay. So, as a business leader, I recognize my role in society. My purpose is to lead people and manage resources to create value that no single individual can create alone. My decisions affect the well-being of individuals inside and outside my enterprise today and tomorrow. Therefore, I promise that I'll manage my enterprise with loyalty and care and will not advance my personal interests at the expense of my enterprise or society. I will understand and uphold a letter and spirit the laws and contracts governing my conduct and that of my enterprise. I will refrain from corruption, unfair competition or business practices harmful to society. I will protect the human rights and dignity of all people affected by my enterprise and I will oppose discrimination and exploitation. I will protect the right of future generations to advance their standard of living and enjoy a healthy planet. I will report the performance and risk of my enterprise accurately and honestly. I will invest in developing myself and others, helping the management profession continue to advance and create sustainable and inclusive prosperity. In exercising my professional duties, According to these principles, I recognize that my behavior must set an example of integrity. Eliciting trust and esteem from those I serve. I will remain accountable to my peers and to society for my actions and for upholding the standards. This oath I make freely and upon my honor. I request Dr. N. Kamakudi to declare the graduation closed. I dissolve this graduation ceremony.
National Anthem, please rise. Thank <laughs> you. 